Excellency, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of Her Excellency Marie Louise Colero Preca, President of Malta and host of Areolos 2017 Malta, I would like to welcome the members of the press, the televiewers of TVM, and all our Facebook viewers who are following this press conference live from their respective country. We wish to salute His Excellency Frank Walter Steinmeier, President of the Federal Republic of Germany, His Excellency Janos Ader, President of the Republic of Hungary, and His Excellency Mr. Borut Pahor, President of the Republic of Slovenia, who had to bid us an early farewell due to other commitments. We will now shortly be inviting each participating president to deliver a short review of the experience and outcome of the meeting held over the past two days. This 13th meeting of the Areolos Group in Malta has been another testament to the frankness and openness that exists among the non-EU president, non-executive presidents of the European Union. Throughout the Areolos meeting Malta 2017, we have created opportunities for sharing and to sensitize one another to our respective situations. It was also an opportunity to nurture and enhance the strong friendships that already exist among our family of nations. From my point of view, our meeting has truly been a positive experience, giving visibility to the social issues of Europe in the strongest possible way. We have highlighted the most important issues of social justice, such as poverty, including the working poor and the alarming realities of child poverty in Europe with indicators that tell us that some 26% of children in the European Union are living at risk of poverty and social exclusion. Moreover, it became clear that we must further our efforts to make an effective investment in our young people in relation to issues of employment. In this way, we shall continue to address growing concerns of precarity within our nations. I believe that in all our efforts, we cannot simply rest on economic growth. To ensure that no one is left behind, we must make an equal effective investment in the well-being of our peoples. I'm convinced that we need a global social solidarity approach, which parallels the work being done to develop the economic sectors of our nations. In this way, we shall be putting into action the mandate of the United Nations Agenda 2030 and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Furthermore, there, are, there must be more investment on behalf of Europe in the security of the Euro-Mediterranean region. There can be no positive peace in our European Union without strongly promoting and prioritizing the stability and harmony of the Mediterranean area. In order to ensure the con continued prosperity and security of Europe, we must make a clear investment in the southern Mediterranean, with particular emphasis on northern and sub-Saharan Africa. Through legal channels of migration and an investment in processes of democratic participation within these nations, we shall be protecting the dignity of our brothers and sisters in the region, while ensuring the sustainable well-being of our European Union. Thank you.